Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. It's Brad. Welcome to Radko Tarot and this is going to be Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon and uh, Pisces Rising. Weekly Tarot reading for April 8th to April uh, 14th, 2019. And uh, as I'm shuffling the cards, I want to remind you once again that that is going to be a, a general reading for a Pisces star sign and for that reason the reading itself is going to uh, relate to different stuff and is going to resonate in a different way with... Uh, every single different Pisces. But if you do want your personal situation to be analyzed by me through Tarot and to tell you what is gonna happen with it in its future, how it's going to develop for the future, that is a subject of a private reading. And for such, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you're going to find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricing starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded reading services and uh, <clears throat> $15 for the private call reading services. So that being said, going to the Pisces Tarot reading for the week and the first card that uh, is marking the topic of your week Pisces, that is going to be the two of wands, followed by the second card, which is the negative approach toward the situation you can take toward the two of wands. That is going to be the King, uh, the Knights of Pentacles, excuse me. Third card, which is the positive approach toward the situation that you can take, that is going to be the Hermit. And the last one that we do have, it is the final outcome of growth, should you follow the guidance of Tarot, that is the King of Wands. So once again, two of Wands, then the negative card here, it is the King, it is the Knight of Pentacles, followed by the Hermit card, which is the positive thing. And the last one, that it is the final outcome of growth, should you follow these couple of cards here, that is going to be the king of uh, wands. So, <clears throat> Pisces, that is going to be a, a week of big self-awareness, if I may express myself that way. So we do have the two of wands as a, a primary subject. And uh, somewhere along the week uh, with this card, you are to recognize that you have reached a good achievement, okay? So that you do have your blessings, let's say that way, or you are in a good spot in your life. But you are also going to recognize that this position in this situation needs to be developed further. How? Through developing your personal skill, knowledge, and performance as well. The two, uh, uh, well, usually people who are taking courses with me are asking me, well, what is the difference in between two of ones and the three of ones? I mean, when I open a book, they do seem very similar. Well, the three of ones is when one is already sitting on the established patterns, you know, and it is taking challenges in order to improve their situation. So it's kind of like they're breaking through their limits and expanding their limits. While with the two of ones, you are yet to recognize where your limits are, all right? So that's why you have to keep on pushing to develop the situation even further, meaning that the situation, either career-oriented or relationship-oriented, can be better than what it is right now. In order for you to do so, to develop it even better, you need to have the determination to expand your personal skill, knowledge, you know, performance as well when it comes to interactions with people, but as well, it does involve uh, aggressiveness. You got to be um, aggressive to want for more. Now, of course, when we are talking about aggressiveness, one has to be as well very careful because aggressive to want more is one thing. Being bruising, uh, being bruising person, it is something completely different. So with this card, it will be best if you take a couple of days at the start of the week just to um, reconnoiter where, uh, how you can truly, you know, reach the maximum out of your situations, you know, for example, current datings and, or, or current project that you're working at your career and so on and so forth. So once again, for you Pisces, the week is going to be a week of awareness that you can go for even more. How? Well, that depends entirely on what your situation is going to be look like looking like the accompanied card that is going to be the strength 
so we do have a active supporters here the shade that strand adds to the two of ones is extreme amounts of uh <clears throat> a, not extreme but big amounts of um enthusiasm want to be even better want to be even more happier into their relationship all right want to be even more successful into their career realizing as well that this thing comes with a price in the sense of that one have to overcome certain predicaments and issues that are going on that are um just a part of this new advance or rather like the furthering of one's advance moving on forward the strength also points that you are going to be ex very extremely patient with uh, the plights that you will have to deal with and under plights i mean this the, just this usual chores that involves one um one improvement into their situation very patiently taking care of them and uh, recognizing as recognizing them as a essential part of the success overall and that being said it is uh, highly unlikely that you are going to find yourself very aggravated and as well annoyed but what you have to uh, what you have to deal with for throughout the week knowing that this once again is a substantial part for the further development of either your career relationship or you know just recently start dating and so on and so forth so that leads us to the second card which is the negative approach toward the situation that is going to be the king the knights excuse me of pentacles and the knights of pentacles in this follow-up and position it is about you thinking small are you thinking like you don't deserve stuff okay you're thinking that you don't deserve being happier into your um into your relationship thinking that you don't deserve to be more lucrative into your career and so on and so forth also the key, the knights of pentacles could represent that you uh, may think that uh, how can i uh, really place it into words here that um, if you are more organized should i say that way and if you're more consistent things are going to uh, magically you know fix themselves on their own accord we're not talking here about being more consistent you know or more simplified when it comes to performance just on the contrary we're talking about exploring new ways to be better not current ways but new ways to be better to develop your skills like i said your knowledge or further developing those things or you know your performance and the nights the night moves with already creating created plan but like i said you are yet to uh, define where your capabilities are meaning that you are yet to define that you can be better or that you can be happier that you can be more lucrative which will require new sets of a new set of improve uh, of performance here which means new set of strategy new set of plans so you have to abandon uh how can i place it ideas bias the uh, uh, thoughts that you do have of, of what is needed because you are yet to define what is needed into this situation the accompanied card that is going to be the five of swords here the formation it is a uh, passive enemies and the five of swords in that in that condition as a shade it adds that you have to be basically um or how can I place it? You gotta be uh, cockier, all right? So oh, it's, it's difficult to explain it, but it's, uh, man, I, I just can't find the words. It's because the five of, uh, of the five of swords here, like asks you to be ignorant for the current, um, for the current enfoldment and to know that you can persevere through it therefore um you know even if uh, even if for example people were telling you that you cannot do what you think you can do that should be this card here is pointing that you don't that you don't know that you should not excuse me believe to these people or kind of fall into depression fall into desperation that you are not good enough all right so you are good enough and that's why you have to expand your limits how once again reconnoitering for additional options available to improve your current uh, circumstances either into your marriage or either into your career 
life of singularity and so on and so forth. Which leads us to the next card that it is best possible approach toward the situation. We do have the Hermit. So the Hermit uh, involves you being very intelligent and as well, whatever um, decision you make or whatever action you take, uh, they have to be supported with great amounts of wisdom. The Hermit always focus on what is substantial, but in the grand scheme of things, all right? So what is substantial? Want to be happy. How, whom, with, that is entirely your decision, all right? You are not as happy as you think you can be with this guy. Well, you can try with the other guy, all right? So what is substantial? It is much more than just I want to be with Robert. And that is a disclaimer here that if your name is... Um, it's just a, is is Robert. It's completely coincident, uh, coincidental. All right. So or I, or I I'm going to be only happy with with Bridget. All right, and so on and so forth. It's kind of like you have to liberate yourself from this um, unyielding aims toward a specific thing, but rather the grand scheme of the goal should be something substantial for you. Being lucrative being happy, you know, being fulfilled, being free, and so on and so forth. That being said, once you do so, it is likely that you are to start walking into a newfound direction or toward a new goal for yourself, which goal is going to allow you to once again, you know, expand your limits. It's all about that, expanding your limits and expanding your environment. As I said, being more happier or being... Um, more lucrative, richer. So the accompanied card of the um, Hermit here, that is going to be the Seven of Wands. So we do have a passive neutrals. And uh, pretty much you are to very well, uh, how can I place it, deprive your future from crisis. Okay, it doesn't look like that there will be circumstances happening once you... Um, here be determined you know to explore new opportunities and to jump into action being ready to action but as well support your decisions and actions with a uh, uh, intelligence and wisdom as well it is unlikely that you're going to face big crisis where everything is going to be uh, either win everything or, or lose everything that is and you are going to be as well forewarned with these cards in the sense of that whatever uh, whatever maneuver you have to take in the future you will know a couple of steps before that being able to really uh, support that maneuver or support your actions in there with a very consistent uh, a consistent approach or in other words you know finding the best way to act regarding the situation itself uh, and in general uh, things which are for that enterprise which is marked with the two of wands where you are to expand your limits it is unlikely to catch you off guard for example, you associate yourself with that person and they suddenly, you know, try to put you under a test. You are going to be very prepared for that and you are to surprise them with, with your performance. Same thing goes career-wise, you know, your boss gives you that very difficult project and you are to surprise people of how well you perform into that project. But only if you believe in yourself once again and if you seek to expand your personal qualities here as knowledge, performance, you know, being more uh, interactive when it comes to um, interactions with people and so on and so forth. And the last card for you, Pisces, which is the uh, final outcome of growth, should you follow the guidance of Tarot, that is going to be a, a person stepping in. King of Wands, so very sincere and as well very experienced guy who very well know what is needed in order for one thing to be pushed through. So even if you don't find the right measures here, how to expand your uh, your environment or kind of like your either your relationship or either your career, at the end of the week, there will be a person stepping in who sees your efforts, you know, to simply become better and they will how can I place it? They will be able to transform your ideas, your action uh, into very, very powerful actions. If you want to say it that way, the very least, they are going to give you the turf needed in order for you to improve yourself in any way. 
So the King of Wands as well is someone who very well, very, very much enjoy um, living. Okay, so it is likely that this person as well is going to invite you on dinners, beverages, parties, and so on and so forth. It is highly advisable for you to take advantage of those invitations. They may not be dates, all right? They may just be casual uh, socializing here, but the, the conversations that you're gonna lead with this person will truly allow you to start thinking big. It's all about that. You start thinking bigger than you are thinking right now giving giving or taking it's like being in a uh, a certain position of employment into your career you you have to start thinking big about expanding on that position you know being promoted new job that is going to offer you better a better resources and so on and so forth and that person at the end, at the end like i said steps in uh, seeing your efforts you know to improve yourself and and basically to become better and giving you the opportunity to do so the accompanied card here that is going to be the sun card which is one of the most positive cards in the tarot deck and the formation is a active neutrals so a, a big amount of actions coming in with this uh, person it's very much that you are going to fall for each other maybe not emotionally you know maybe it is going to relate just to a business endeavors but you are gonna like each other very very much now if this is a about relationship you know you are truly going to like how this person lives their life and you're going to find it very natural to yourself even if you haven't led such a life until this very moment you know you the new way of living is going to come very um yeah natural and and, and and logical to you and intuitive as well and it's gonna be awesome because the sun here points that the appearance of this person is going to charge you with energies of growth vital energies energies of expand as well um this person could give you the lucrative plan you need all right or the lucrative uh, maneuvers that you need in order to become yourself uh, richer in finances and as well it is highly likely that you are going to be on the same page together as the sun it's about burying down the uh, hatchets of war and really maintaining peace in between people and as well being very very happy so that person coming in whatever they are to present to you which is related with your uh, readiness to expand upon your environment is going to make you very very happy and i highly suggest uh suggest you to uh really stick to this cooperation either if the cooperation is going to be relationship wise or career wise it's truly gonna give you a big benefit as for what it seems your idea can and should be manifested through the help or the contribution of the king of wands which manifest as a result of your um urge to expand upon either your career or upon either your relationship so if you don't start so if you start feeling yourself unfulfilled throughout the week it is because you are sitting into one place just you know stubborn into one place and it is time to start thinking big so that being said pisces this was your weekly tarot reading for april 8 to april 12 2019 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and um once again this was a general reading for pisces star sign and for that reason the reading is going to re relate to different stuff and is going to resonate in a different way with every single different pisces but if you do want your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot and to tell you what is going to happen with it in the future uh, that is a subject of a private reading and for such you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and $15 for the private call readings. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.